Caroline and welcome to a beginner's introduction to Pilates. So we're going to lie down on our back. Make sure that your feet and your hips or your feet, your knees, your hips are all aligned and your hands are by your hips. And we just start by very gently closing your eyes and envision your whole body melting down into the mat so you allow everything to relax. Feel the weight of your body sinking down. And from this relaxed position, begin by slowly rocking your pelvis forwards and backwards. Rocking your pelvis, just gently flattening your lower back and then gently arching your lower back. Tucking and arching. Tucking and arching. And then settle into a position between the tuck and the arch in which you can feel that both your hip bones and your pubic bone are on the same plane. So if you bring your index fingers and your thumbs together, you can feel that your index fingers and your thumbs are evenly placed. So if you rest a glass of water on your tummy, it will stay nice and balanced. So this is your neutral pelvis. Now again, closing your eyes and taking your awareness to your spine and notice that your tailbone is gently resting. Notice that you have a natural curve in your lower back. Notice that the back of your ribs are gently resting and you have a natural curve in your neck. Now slowly soften your chin into your throat, lengthening the back of your neck. This position is your neutral spine position. Now take your awareness to your breathing, place both hands on your ribs and take a deep breath in, fill the back of your lungs, the sides of your ribs and your abdominals and as you breathe out, allow your back, your sides and your belly to relax. And again, take a deep breath in, fill the back of your lungs, the sides of your ribs and your abdominals and as you breathe out, allow everything to relax. This time we take a deep breath in, fill the back of your lungs, the sides of your ribs and your abdominals. And as you breathe out, squeeze the air out of your lungs, sink your belly button into your spine and engage your pelvic floor. And then allow everything to relax. Breathe in, fill the back of your lungs, the sides of your ribs and your abdominals. And again, breathe out, squeeze the air out of your lungs, sink your belly button into your spine and engage your pelvic floor. Now see if you can keep your belly firm and your pelvic floor engaged as you breathe into the back of your lungs and the sides of your ribs only. Keep your belly firm and your pelvic floor engaged, breathing out. Keep your belly firm and your pelvic floor engaged as you breathe in to the back of your lungs and the sides of your ribs only. And keep your belly firm and your pelvic floor engaged as you breathe out. So this is your Pilates breathing. See if you can focus on this style of breath throughout the rest of your class. So from here we take our hands back to our hips and we slowly flatten our back and roll our spine up vertebra by vertebra. Firm your belly and your bottom and you want one long line from your knees, your hips and your shoulders. Allow everything else to relax and then slowly breathe out, roll your spine down vertebra by vertebra. Breathing in, releasing your pelvis back to neutral. Again, breathe out, flatten your back, roll your spine all the way up into the air, vertebra by vertebra. Again, one long line from your knees, your hips and your shoulders, allowing your shoulders to relax and firming your bottom. And then slowly rolling your spine down, vertebra by vertebra, breathing in, releasing your pelvis. And now breathe out, flatten your back, rolling your spine all the way up. This time we take a deep breath in, lift our arms to the ceiling, place them on the floor behind you. Breathe out, roll your spine down, vertebra by vertebra, and breathe in, release your pelvis as you circle your hands to your hips. Breathing out, flatten your back, roll your spine up, vertebra by vertebra, firming the belly in the bottom, breathe in, lift the arms to the ceiling, place them on the floor behind you. Breathe out, roll your spine down as you stretch your fingertips away and breathe in, circle your hands to your hips as you release your pelvis. 
Gently circle the arms all the way back. Interlink the fingers behind the head. Make sure that your thumbs are drawing down the back of your neck. Take a breath in, stretch your head and neck, and breathe out, curl forward, sinking your belly into your spine so your belly button is physically coming down. Breathe in, hold, and then breathe out, slowly lengthen away. Breathe in, stretch in your head and neck. Breathe out, curl forward. Breathe in, sink your belly into your spine, and breathe out, lengthen your head and neck away. Breathing in, stretching your head and neck. Breathe out, curl forward. Breathe in, sink your belly into your spine, and now we breathe out. Take your right shoulder over to your left. Breathe in, return to center, keeping your chest up. Breathe out, left shoulder over to the right. Breathe in, return to center. Breathe out, right shoulder over to the left. Breathe in, return to center. Breathe out, left shoulder over to the right. Breathe in, return to center. Now sink your belly into your spine, hold it there, and breathe in, lengthen away, stretching away. From there, release the hands all the way to the hips again and slowly curl forward. Sinking the belly into the spine, we come into our baby hundreds. If your neck feels weak, place one hand behind your head or both hands behind your head. Otherwise, we start with little pulses. So we breathe in one, two, three, four, five. Breathing out, sink the tummy in, two, three, four, five, two, two, three. Four, five, sink your tummy in, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, sink your tummy in, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, sink your tummy in, two, three, four, five, five, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, breathing out, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five, breathing out, two, three, Four, five, eight, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five, breathing out, two, three, four, five, ten, two, three, four, five, breathing out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, slowly drop your chest all the way down and stretch the arms away. From here, stretch both feet away. We're going to stretch your fingertips and your toes away from each other, stretching the muscles in your tummy and lengthening through your spine. From here, we breathe out. We slide the shoulders down the back, gently bend both knees, sliding your toes along the ground, and curl forward into your hundreds position, stretching everything up to the sky, and then we take a breath in. Bend both knees, touching the toes to the floor, and breathe out, stretch your arms and legs away. Breathing in, bending your knees, sliding both toes along the ground. Breathe out, curl forward into your hundreds position. Breathe in, bend your knees, touching your toes to the floor, and breathe out, stretch your arms and legs away. Breathing in, bending your knees, sliding your toes along the ground. Breathe out, curl forward. So this is your hundreds position. Again, remembering if your neck feels weak, you place your hands behind your head. If your back hurts, we bend our knees. So establishing the hundreds position that's suitable for your own body is really important. So once we're here, we go with our traditional hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. Breathing out, two, three. Four, five, two, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, five, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, out, two, seven, two, three, four, five, out, two, three. Four, five, eight, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, ten, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Gently bend both knees, touch your toes to the floor, and then again stretch your arms and legs away. And we just stretch, rest, reach your fingertips and your toes away from your body. And then slowly slide your shoulders down your back, engaging through your shoulder girdle, firming your tummy so you draw your rib cage in and squeeze your thighs together. 
From here we breathe in, lift both arms up to the sky, breathe out, tuck the chin into the throat and roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra and we find a C curve in which our whole spine is nice and curved, stretching the arms away. From there we slowly breathe out, roll the spine down vertebra by vertebra so you allow every part of your back to touch the floor one at a time. Breathe in, stretch your arms away. Again, breathing in, lifting the arms up. Breathing out, rolling the spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Again, finding a C curve with your spine and then gently rolling your spine all the way down, vertebra by vertebra. Nice and slowly, breathing in, stretching the arms away. Again, lifting the arms up to the ceiling, soften the chin into the throat, breathing out, rolling the spine up, vertebra by vertebra, finding that C curve, slowly rolling your spine down, vertebra by vertebra, and gently stretching your arms away. Okay, from here we're going to bend both knees. And we slowly draw our right knee into our chest, giving our hip a nice stretch. And then we stretch our right leg up to the sky, interlink your fingers behind your thigh, making sure that your leg is nice and comfortable and your hips are relaxed and even. From this point, we stretch the toes away and we walk our hands up our thigh so we come to a comfortable hamstring stretch. We slowly bend our elbows, relax our chest and shoulders, and we breathe in, point our foot, breathe out, flex the foot. So when we flex, it goes into our calf. When we point, we're stretching the front of our toes and our shin. Breathing out, flex, and breathe in, point. Breathe out, flex, breathe in, point, and breathe out, flex. We keep our foot flexed. We're trying to draw our toes towards this particularly the outer edge of the foot. From here we bend the knee, soften the knee to the chest and then breathe out, straighten the leg. Breathe in, bend two. Breathe out, straighten. Breathe in, bend three. Breathe out, straighten, keeping the legs straight. Walk the hands up the thigh a little bit more. Make sure that the spine's in neutral and then gently relax down. So that's our hamstring stretch. Gently draw the left leg into the chest. Again, stretch the leg up to the sky, interlink the fingers behind the thigh so you have a nice comfortable grip. From there, gently point the toes away from the body and we flex the foot. Breathe in, point the foot. Breathe out, flex. Breathe in, point. Breathe out, flex. Breathe in, point, and breathe out, flex the foot. Keep the foot flexed, draw the toes towards you, particularly the outer edge of the foot. From here, we soften the knee into the chest, and then we breathe out, straighten. Breathe in, bend, two. Breathe out, straighten. Breathe in, bend, three. Breathe out, straighten, keep the legs straight. Softly walk the hands up the thigh, coming into a stronger hamstring stretch. Bend the elbows if you need to make this more challenging and hold. So you're feeling a stretch all the way through the back of the thigh and the calf. From there, gently bend the knee and relax down. Okay, keeping our left leg bent, we're going to lift the right leg up to the sky. Make sure that both hip bones stay absolutely still and anchored and we begin our leg circles. So we slowly go out to the side, keeping the hips still. We cross center and lift. Slowly circle out to the side two, cross center and lift. Circle three, cross center and lift and all the while making sure that your hip bones are stacked and even that the chest is nice and relaxed and that we're working through the obliques and the hip flexors to keep the hips stable slowly circle seven and lift circle eight and lift circle nine and lift last one circle ten and lift. Now hold it there 
Let's move over to the other direction. So we slowly circle around one and lift. Circle two, lift. Circle three and lift. Circle four, lift. Keep the hip bone still. Five, the rib cage engaged. Lift. Six and lift. Circle seven and lift. Circle eight, lift, circle nine, lift, last one, circle 10, and lift. From there we hold, stretch the leg away from the body, and then gently bend and relax down. So what you should have felt there is your thigh working, your tummy and your hip flexors. Now we move over to the other side. We anchor the right leg down to the floor. We lift and extend the left leg up to the sky. Again, making sure that our hips stay really still and our tummy's nice and engaged, and we slowly begin to circle. So we go out to the side, cross center and lift. Circle again, two, and it's almost as if our leg is drawing a big circle in the air. Three, and lift, circle four. Lift, keep the tummy engaged, circle five. And lift, circle six and lift, hip bones stay very still, seven, and lift, circle eight, and lift, circle nine, lift, circle 10, and lift, let's move the other way. So we cross center, slowly lower down, go out to the side and lift one. Remember, keep the shoulders relaxed, circle two, slowly lower, circle three, Engaging through the tummy, four. Slowly circle, five and six. Stretching the leg away from the hip, stabilizing through the hips, seven and lift. Circle eight and lift. Circle nine and lift. Last one, circle 10 and lift, stretch the leg away from the body and then gently bend the knee and relax the leg all the way down. Again, stretching the arms and legs away from the body, reach the fingertips and the toes away, we lift the arms to the ceiling, soften the chin into the throat and then breathe out, roll the spine all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. So we cross our legs and gently come forward into a four point kneeling position. Spread all 10 fingers and we begin by gently arching the back and then exhale, rounding the back. So we're softening through neutral. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, arch the back and exhale, round the back. And then slowly sit back onto your heels, stretch the arms forward. Gently round the back, come forward. We bring the right leg forward into a low runner's lunge, making sure that our back knee, our hip, and our front knee are all aligned. Sink the hips, soften the chin into the throat, and push the back of the ribs to the ceiling. So what we're finding here is a hip flexor stretch in that front back hip. From there, we exhale straight in the front leg, draw the toes towards you. And then again, walk the hands forward, sink the hips, soften the chin to the throat, push the back of your ribs to the ceiling, and then gently breathe out, straighten your front leg, draw your toes towards you. Slowly come forward again, sinking the hips. We ground all 10 fingers down to the earth, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the floor. So now we're in a high lunge. Sink the hips, soften the chin to the throat, push the back of the ribs to the ceiling, and again we come into a hip flexor stretch on that back hip. From here we gently straighten the front leg, square the hips off, remembering that it's much more important to have the back flat than it is to have the front leg straight. Gently bend your knees, sinking your hips, softening your chin to your throat, and then breathe out, straighten the leg again, squaring the hips off. Breathe in, gently bend. From here, we soften the knee down and we step back, 
gently moving into our child's pose again, stretching our fingertips forward, slowly rounding the back, and we move to the other side. So now we step our left leg forward, sink the hips, tuck the back toes under, soften the chin into the throat, pushing the back of the ribs to the ceiling. So now we're stretching the hip flexor on the other side. From here, straighten your front leg, draw your toes towards you, coming into a hamstring stretch on the back of your leg. Slowly bend the knees, sink the hips, soften the chin into the throat, push the back of the ribs to the ceiling. Breathe out, straighten the leg, flexing the foot, squaring the hips off. Breathe in, gently bend. From here, we tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee so we're in a high lunge. Sink the hips, soften the chin to the throat, push the back of the ribs to the ceiling. Again, breathe out, straighten the legs, square the hips off, flattening the back. Remember, it's much more important to keep your back nice and flat and safe. Breathe in, slowly bend, sink the hips, soften the chin into the throat, push the back of the ribs to the ceiling. Breathe out, straighten your front legs, square your hips and flatten your back. From there, we slowly come back, slowly bend the back knee, placing it down and come back into your child's pose. Stretching your fingertips forward. Gently coming all the way up. We tuck our back toes under, spread all 10 fingers, and we move into establishing our plank pose. So we straighten the legs, make sure that we have our shoulders, elbows, and wrists in line. We squeeze your bottom, tuck your tailbone under, push the back of the ribs to the ceiling. And we hold, keeping everything nice and firm and drawing the belly into the spine for 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently bend the knees down. Walk the hands forward slightly. And here we move into our push-ups. So with our fingers nice and spread, we're gonna bend the elbows out to the side, one, and then breathe out, straighten. Breathe and bend two, and push. Breathe in three, push, bend four, push, five, breathe out, push, six, breathe out, push, seven, breathe out, push, one more, eight, breathe out, push, and then gently relax all the way back down into your child's pose. Stretching your fingers forward, Gently round the back, slowly come forward, cross the legs, and we're gonna lie back down on your back. So slowly lying down, making sure that your feet, your knees, and your hips are all aligned, and we move into our abdominals. So we gently interlink the fingers behind the head, make sure that your thumbs are drawing down the back of your neck, curling forward, sinking the belly into the spine, we start lifting your right leg up, gently lifting your left leg up, squeeze the knees together, so we come to tabletop. From here, we slowly keep the tummy firm, right leg goes down, and then lifts, coming back to tabletop. Slowly lower two, and lift. Three, lift, four, Lift, and remembering your objective here is to keep your tummy very firm and stable. Five, lift, keep sinking the tummy in. Six, lift, seven, lift, eight, lift, nine, lift, and 10, lift. Here we extend one leg away, and then gently return. Breathe out two and return, breathe out three, return, breathe out four, return, breathe out five, return, breathe out six, return, breathe out seven, return, breathe out eight, return, breathe out nine, return one more, breathe out 10, Return, staying in tabletop, keeping your chest up, and we slowly twist one, and return, two, 
return, three, return, twist, four, return, twist, five, return, twist, six, return, twist, seven, return, twist, eight, return, twist, nine, return, twist, ten. Gently come back, slowly lower your right leg down to the floor, gently lower your left leg down to the floor and relax your chest all the way down. Stretching the arms out to the side, we gently move to side to side. So you just let the spine release, gently take your knees to the right and the head to the left and move over to the other side. So here you're just releasing your spine and allowing everything to relax. And then very slowly, we stretch the arms and legs away, squeeze everything together, and gently lift and roll your spine up, flexing the feet, slowly stretching forward, allowing your whole spine to release, and then slowly coming up. And you guys are all finished. That was your introduction to Pilates. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.